Welcome back everyone. Uh, this video is again part of the series on the list of IMG friendly states. So today I have chosen um, a state of Illinois. Uh, the state of Illinois uh, used to be very IMG friendly in the past, but uh, the number of IMGs have been declining uh, in the last three, four years. Uh, it's ranked uh, number seven uh, according to 2020 NRMP data. Uh, they took a total of 365 IMGs in different specialities. Among these 365, uh, 126 were US IMGs and uh, 239 were non-US IMGs. Most of the IMG friendly programs are in the city of Chicago. Uh, the city of Chicago programs are uh, very hectic and busy just like the city of New York. But the city of Chicago itself is really beautiful and most of the AMGs really like it and uh, they uh, also like the uh, Midwestern culture. I think that's why the number of IMGs in the uh, Illinois and other uh, Midwestern states is uh, decreasing year by year. So uh, we will start with the most famous program in our list which is Cook County. Cook County is a uh, traditionally very old program. Uh, it is famous all over uh, United States and uh, it has deep history. It takes a large number of IMGs. Uh, in order to get an interview from uh, Cook County, you should have scores of at least 240 in uh, both USMLE Step 1 and Step 2. Uh, they have all the major in-house fellowships. They do sponsor uh, H-1B visa as well as J-1 visa. That's why uh, most of the people rank it as number one. And uh, they prefer uh, people who have a gold medal in their med school. But even if you don't have it, uh, there are still chances that you can uh, get an interview and get matched here as well. Uh, then uh, next program in our list is uh, the uh, famous Advocate Masonic program. Uh, it is uh, in the city of Chicago as well. And it's really busy hospital. Uh, the other thing about this hospital is they do have uh, fame, uh, some in-house fellowships and uh, um, they do take a large number of IMGs and uh, you need to have like average scores of 230 to 250 in order to get an interview from here. McNeil Hospital is affiliated with uh, Loyola University. That's why if you get uh, matched here, there are chances that you can get into uh, fellowships at Loyola, but uh, uh, the hospital itself does not have any fellowships. Uh, it's a very crazy program, very malignant program. Uh, even the program uh, coordinator is really rude. So, uh, but uh, again, uh, it's affiliated with Loyola University, which is a big plus for it. Uh, they do take people with average scores of 220 to 240. Present St. Uh, Joseph is located in uh, the city of Chicago. It's close to the lakefront. So, uh, it has very beautiful neighborhood. That's why uh, people rank it really uh, higher. Uh, they take uh, people with average scores of 220 to 250s um, and uh, people with links to Chicago. Uh, the only reason people rank it higher is because of its location. Otherwise, it doesn't sponsor any H1B or doesn't have any fellowships. Present St. Francis is owned by the same group. It's uh, located slightly outside of the city of Chicago. And uh, it's not a very busy hospital. And uh, again, they take people with average scores between 220 to 250 again. Uh, the last uh, program in the city of Chicago that we have is Visa Memorial. Uh, it's a pre-match program. Uh, they take people with low scores. They usually prefer US IMGs, but they do take non-US IMGs as well. The whole hospital is run by uh, the uh, residents. Uh, they don't have any fellowships and uh, it's crazy busy in uh, this hospital. Uh, the next three programs are in uh, kind of central Illinois. Uh, the number one on the list is Southern Illinois University. It's in uh, Springfield. They do have uh, fellowships, cardiology, pulmonary and critical care, endocrinology and, and infectious disease. Uh, I don't know why, but they usually prefer uh, people from the Mediterranean region and people from Arab countries. Uh, they have very good fellowship placement rate. Uh, the average scores uh, for uh, their criteria are 230 to 260. Uh, University of Illinois at Peoria, uh, it's uh, a very big hospital and they do have a lot of fellowships, uh, GI, critical care and uh, cardiology. All the major fellowships are here. Uh, they also take people with uh, average scores 220 to 250, but they can relax those scores if you have any connection to the area. Uh, 
I don't think they sponsor any uh, H1B. Uh, the last program in odd list is Carl Foundation Hospital. It used to be a University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, but in uh, 2018, uh, the name was changed to uh, the main uh, feeding hospital, the Carl Foundation Hospital. Uh, this program is almost 100% IMG. If you get an interview from here, there is a, a very big chance that you will get matched. Uh, they Take people with average scores of 220 to 250 but uh, the criteria can be changed if you have any family connections in the area or uh, you know anybody in the hospital and also they prefer uh, people who have done any observership uh, in their own hospital. Although they don't have any fellowships but there are talks about uh, starting a cardiology fellowship uh, coming next year. So these were the top most uh, IMG friendly programs in the state of Illinois. Uh, besides these uh, programs, if you have uh, enough uh, resources and money, you can apply for uh, other programs as well, but the chances will be lower of getting an interview. Uh, I will be making uh, more videos on these topics as well as uh, people have asked me to make a video on the ERAS application. Uh, I got 17 plus interviews, so I will be making uh, some uh, videos on uh, how to get more and more interviews so uh, that's all for today uh, if you like my video hit like and do let me know in comments which other important topics you want me to discuss please subscribe and hit notification button for more upcoming content for your upcoming residency journey thank you all